So this young practitioner just came from a, a big uh, meeting in the state. He said, hey, can I give you a shout? I got a lot of things I'd love to ask you, you know? So I was like, sure. So we, we took about an hour and I talked to him on the phone and it was an interesting conversation because this guy starts talking and I, and I think to myself, man, this sounds familiar about 20 years ago when I called you. <laughs> All these questions about what do I do about this? What do I do about that? And I could feel this anxiety come over me because I felt like I could keep you on the phone for like six hours with the amount of stuff I wanted to tell him. And I quickly realized that it's not something you learn overnight. You just don't. Everything I was telling him was everything that you and I have done over 20 years. And what people don't realize, it was 20 years of trying, make a mistake, this doesn't work, this works. So then when everybody calls us and goes, wow, you guys, Ritter and Ramsey, you're doing everything so right. I don't think they realize the depth of mistakes we've made along the way, the time lost along the way to give the perception now 20, 25 years, 21, 26 years in that realize people sit, they can look back and go, oh, I, I see why this is working because yeah, you guys did so many things wrong at the front end and now we're able to disseminate this information down to somebody younger and it feels good, but at the same time, I think to myself, they still don't realize the amount of work that's, that's ahead. ahead of them. It's so much work. We're, we're huge Star Wars fans, right? Right. What does Yoda say? Failure is the best teacher, right? Right. That's what this is. Yeah, it's amazing. Everybody wants it right now. That's the society we live in, right? The whole Instagram, TikTok world is, I want success and I want it right now. Right. But it took us 20 years to build the brand. It took us 20 years of failures and mistakes to get to the ultimate success, right? Right. Eyes on the prize is what I always like to say. So how did we get there? We took maybe more education than anyone we know. Yeah. Right? Yep. We did it together. When same they time, told, when same they told time, us they sh we shouldn't, sure shouldn't do that. Right. Oh, you can't take off 10 days in a row? What are you going to do if you take off 10 days in a row? <laughs> Turned out we end up being better dentists. That, that's exactly what you get out of it. Right. It you know, it's you amazing. I just saw a podcast and um, I was watching it and somebody that I really liked said, value is linked to difficulty. And I thought to myself, there's some truth to that. Because everything that we were disseminating down to all these people who ask us how we do things, the truth is, we took a very difficult path to get here, and now it has massive value. And I was throwing all kinds of things at this young practitioner, who was a great, great guy. But he came back with some things that was interesting, like when he goes, well, I, I just signed up for 22 plans, and my office opens in six months. I said, 22 plans? Tell me a little bit about that. And as he told me all these things, I thought to myself, this sounds like one major issue, and I think it really boiled down to one word, and I think it was panic. I think he's opening in six months, and I think it was pure panic. So I was like, okay, my friend, let me just tell you how I think I would do this if I were you right now. Mostly, just so you have great health, because you're gonna get burnt out quick, I think, if you're opening in six months, and your goal is just to sign up for every plan under the sun, just to get asses in the seat. And I think dentistry is so much more than just putting the asses in the seat. I think I'm thinking through that whole process in his mind, what is he going through right now? Obviously, he's signing up for the plans because he wants to have patients and he, not just have patients. He wants to make payroll and he wants to pay his loans Absolutely. And things. And I get it. But what is that going to get you five years from now? It's going to get you some frustration. I was explaining to him how we learned how block scheduling was, made a big difference, how we, we would control one day out of our schedule as opposed to letting the team schedule every day and spread everything over multiple days. I was telling him about how we hire and the mentality of the people that we bring into our family. And this is why people have asked us so long, how come we've had employees that have been with us for so long? So I was trying to hit every single thing. And so it's really good to be now 20 years into this. I'm excited for younger practitioners, but I'm nervous for them at the same time. They expressed to me massive student loan debt, lots of plans, things going on. So I think dentistry can be extremely, extremely valuable and extremely rewarding but I think everyone's being programmed to do a lot of these things all the same, and a lot of this advice I think they're getting from people, consultants, people at school, all these large DSO practices, I think a lot of the advice is actually just really kill a lot of the people in our industry and want them to exit more than it is want them to stay.